This is the We Create Vision 40 watt laser cutter and engraver. And what is this? This is the new auto pass through feeder. It's essentially like a conveyor belt mechanism, which allows you to push large pieces of wood with a workspace, I think up to about 137 yeah. inches long. By I, believe, about, I believe something like that. Just under 15 inches in width. So um, groundbreaking innovation by our friends at We Create. So we're really happy to test this out. Now we did have some problems. I didn't read the instructions before I, I tried it out the first time and what happened? We had some mistakes, but that's okay. We learned from them. Well, we Felicia didn't. read the instructions, figured out we needed break points. <laughs> we needed break points in and, there. And uh, she was able to make this beautiful sign, which we could not have made in a, such a small area. We could not have made this without the conveyor belt. And we're really excited to see what yeah. else we can make. So here's what happened. We set it up and how we made this amazing sign with the We Create Vision and the new auto pass-through feeder. Super easy to set up. Everything you need is here. It didn't look like this. We took it apart and moved it. So you have the panels on the bottom, so you remove the tray that normally comes with it, and you have these little rails that just drop into place, a couple roller bars. It's pretty simple to put together, and the instructions are pretty clear. And you have these conveyor bars that have little wheels. Make sure the wheels are facing up, and this is how your materials are gonna roll over nicely and pass right through the machine. This is probably the hardest part, is lifting up your We Create and dropping it into the right place. You'll see those little rubber feet have to fall right into those little gullies there. And then the cable's gonna pass underneath it, and they do give you some wire management stuff, some ties and some stickers you can put in there. Get, make sure that gets out of the way because you don't want your wood to hit that. And then you just adjust this down depending on what kind of wood you have. There is a guide, and you make sure you see that little green thing on the bottom there, kind of in the middle left there. So you have that green bar in there, and then you know it's down enough. And you insert it about, eh, about 10 centimeters or about four inches, and you're ready to autofocus. So the first thing you're gonna do in the software is change from laser flat to the auto pass through feeder. And when you do that, you can see that your um, canvas is only showing part of the conveyor belt. And that is the only part that you're seeing is the part that's actually inside the machine. But your design is showing up on this white space and it is gonna feed in through the machine just fine. Once you have your material selected, select your design. I've got mine set to cut, but the key feature here is that when you're doing the auto feeder, you need to add break points. And for my design, I added 30 break points at a size of 0.4. Before I actually cut my project, I'm going to click on framing so that I can make sure that I have enough material for my project and that it's gonna line up and fit on that material just right. And here you can see the wood is actually feeding through the machine on the conveyor belt and back out. Now I'm ready to start my cut process. Now I've gone ahead and started the cut process and if you look very carefully, you can see that wood is actually moving in and out of the machine. Very cool, right? So we started this cut process and we started this on a piece of wood, um, but this is the mistake piece we did. We didn't add the break points to it and that's what caused us a problem. And you'll see here in just a second, the machine kind of got stuck because a couple of the inside pieces of our design fell between it and it couldn't move any further. That's why it's so important to add breakpoints into your design before sending it to be cut. Here's the actual spot where it stopped actually feeding through and just started cutting a line back and forth and back and forth. This is really important too. This is one of those reasons why you never wanna leave your uh, machine unattended. This could have caught on fire if we weren't in there paying attention to what was going on with our machine. You can see that it's really a dark burn mark there. Again, it's important to be there with your machine when you start the process. So we went ahead and switched to another scrap piece of wood that we had sitting around and it worked great. It took about 27 minutes for this design to fully cut. And here's a bird's eye view of what it looks like, what the material looks like as it passes through on that conveyor belt. Felice, look at that. That is amazing. Now, it didn't just pop out, did it? No, it did not. The break points came in super handy here. Yeah, we need break points. That was our first mistake, as we talked about earlier. But look how great this looks. And it's all sticking together. It didn't get jammed in the machine. And the break points really keep it together until you're ready to take those breaks. You're ready to break the points, right? Exactly. And you just kind of pop them through. Some of them were pretty thick, so you had to take a little knife, or I think you tried to use a weeding tool. I tried to use my weeding tool, and it did work, but for uh, it's probably not the best idea. Yeah, yeah, just a real sharp little razor, a little box knife, too. It'll take those out and get those points out of there. So, but it held together very, very well. It really 30 did. 30 break points? 30 break points. You can see it's a little struggle to get some of these out. That's good. 
because you don't want them falling through and jamming in the conveyor. And right? that was our first problem. Yeah, so right. this is great. Look at that. That is amazing. You could do something this big, this long in a diode laser machine. But normally you have to spend upwards of $10,000 for a laser engraver and cutter to do something this big. This is one of your breakpoints with the bigger ones? The yeah, bigger? so this is the, uh, the, smaller, the smaller sections to be popped out were a little tougher, so I grabbed what was handy, which was my weeding tool. <laughs> It worked. Um, it worked, but it's not the best idea. It will damage the tip of your weeding tool, yeah. but um, a little exacto knife maybe might help you to just break those break points out, and then it was able to. I was able to pop it right out. That. Yeah, we used the box knife. Right? Look how great that looks. Isn't it look I'm good. So psyched to see what else we're going to be able to make with this WeCreate Vision and the Auto Pass Through.